Hey guys, I'm Shannon Corbet, and I'm here with another episode of What's in the Box, where we show you and tell you what's in the box. So today we've got Scrawler Box, a premium art supply service from the United Kingdom. It runs about 15 pounds a month, which I'm told is approximately 20 United States dollars, 20 American dollars, 20, 20 dollars. Let's find out what's in the box. All right, so right off the bat, it's wrapped in nice green tissue paper, which I appreciate that little extra touch. I don't want to get too excited, but I feel like I might be looking at some sort of hand lettering equipment. <laughs> and I just had a little artistic gasm. This is a hand lettering guide. And so if it is indeed stuff to start working on, maybe calligraphy or some sort of cool script, then I'll use this to help learn my alphabet, but in a pretty fun new way. And it says that it is Stephen Bradbury, a graphic designer and lettering artist. And you can actually download more copies at stebradburydesign.co.uk slash hashtag exclamation mark, exclamation point, exclamation point downloads. Featured artist, Stephen Bradbury. We have here a Scrawler Challenge. Each month, Scrawler Box provides you with a selection of art supplies and inspirations, but we also want to boost your creativity, so we're also giving you a challenge to be interpreted in any way you wish. But why not see if you can create something using only the supplies in the box? Good luck, and don't forget to share your creations with us. Hashtag Scrawler Challenge. Hashtag Scrawler Challenge accepted. Starting out with a watercolor brush. So this is Brush H2O which I've never used, but I've been dying to. Unscrew the brush cap, place fingers on the push panels, gently squeezing while immersing in water, allowing it to flow into the barrel, reattach brush tip, and then I think I can use the water to control the flow. We'll just see what else is in here. Okay, this is a brush pen. I'm getting really excited. I spend a lot of money at craft supply stores. This is candy. This is just candy, which is nice. It's a refreshers, a swizzles refreshers. I kind of wonder if this is like a really exciting British candy and like all of our British viewers or just United Kingdom viewers are like, holy shit, she got some refreshers. But I don't know what it is, but I do like candy. This is a Lyra pen from Germany. One side is all soft. Nice paintbrush tip. This one, I'm assuming is gonna be, yes, like a pen, marker. Cool. We have watercolors. This will come in handy with my brush 2O, my brush H2O. Another Lyra pen. Okay, gonna be the same. We have, this guy has Asian writing on it. Made in Japan. A touch, a little fancy marker. I like it. All right, with something fancy any day. And a Sharpie. Tinta de bajo olor. I actually don't know if this is dry erase or permanent, but it is chisel point. I guess I'll just start writing on things and see if it erases. Okay, so the Scrawler Challenge is using only the contents of this box to write Scrawler Box. I'm assuming to write the words Scrawler Box and not to like, write a letter to Scrawler Box, but I do like writing letters. So yes, this month's theme is hand lettering, which can appear to be a daunting task, but when you break it down to the fundamentals, it's simpler than it seems. Take some tips from our featured artist, Stephen Bradbury, and test out these awesome supplies. Spend a little time hand lettering instead of typing. Don't mind if I do. My first mistake was not using Steven's tutorials. I don't want to be judged for my designs. <laughs> I don't feel that this reflects my strongest work or my potential. The good news is that I had fun. Next time, I'll make a different paper choice. But ultimately, had a good time. I'm excited about using these more 
specifically, I mean, Sharpies are always great, but specifically, I'm looking forward to, with practice, making these my bitch. I wanna say thank you to Scrawlerbox. So ultimately, I really like this box. I would maybe request next time that they put in some paper that was, if the paper was meant to go with these tools, then I wasn't smart enough to figure out how. So either um, give clear instructions for dummies, or maybe I would suggest putting in some different paper options. Ultimately, really enjoyed this box and I'm looking forward to using some of the items in it. If you want to get a Scrawler box of your own, check out scrawlerbox.co.uk or click the link below. If you liked our video, please comment below. If you hated it, comment below, but be nice. I'm tender and fragile. As you may or may not know, we like to create a grab bag for you to thank you for stopping by. So we curate our favorite things, we put them into a box for you. If you'd like to win, click the link below. That's it guys, thanks so much. <laughs> Goodbye! Really cute packaging, it's the, like, the little Japanese bento box wrap you always see in the animes. Oh, it's very pretty. It's very elegant. Snaku from Japan.